Now, what in the Royal Caribbean is going on here? I guess they just don't make them like they used to, as two of the world's newest cruise ships, which also happen to be the first and second largest cruise ships on Earth, have suffered some type of issues here in September. One of which just so happens to be Icon of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship, has abruptly canceled its next sailing due to unplanned maintenance. We will go over the details that are available so far regarding this issue, as well as a potential controversy that many are talking about regarding the future of new cruise ships that are coming out, as well as a situation similar to this that has happened with a cruise line competitor and how they handled it versus Royal Caribbean. So first off, the world's largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, which by the way only launched about eight months ago at the end of January 2024, capable of holding well over 10,000 passengers and crew at full capacity, and is currently completing seven-day Caribbean sailings out of Miami, Florida, randomly and arguably at the last possible second, canceled its September 28th seven-day cruise out of Miami due to unplanned maintenance. It is currently completing a seven-day cruise in the Caribbean right now, however, there was a port cancellation during this cruise St. Thomas, which does, in my opinion, hint at what could potentially be wrong with Icon of the Seas. More than likely, it is either an engine or propulsion issue that is causing the ship to move slower than it actually can go. When it comes to the September 28th sailing that is now unfortunately canceled, it does appear that Royal Caribbean is taking care of the passengers that will now be missing this cruise. For starters, anyone that is booked on Icon of the Seas September 28th sailing will get a 100% refund, including taxes and and fees. In addition, all prepaid packages and gratuities, amenities, and shore excursions will also be refunded. In addition to the refund, Royal Caribbean will also provide future cruise credit worth 100% of the cruise fare paid to be used towards another sailing. Simply put, in addition to getting all of your money back that you put down for your cruise, you also get technically a free cruise, which will be credited to your account in about 14 business days. Finally, when it comes to flight refunds, passengers that purchase flights directly through Royal Caribbean will have those flights automatically refunded. However, if you purchased your air travel yourself, Royal Caribbean will reimburse any travel change fee up to $200 per guest for domestic travel and $400 per guest for international travel. Honestly, regardless of not knowing the conundrum that's currently taking place with Icon of the Seas, which we will elaborate further here in a second once we also talk about Utopia of the Seas, it is clear that Royal Caribbean has gone out of their way to try to make these passengers that have now had a missed cruise or canceled cruise whole. Unfortunately, but unsurprisingly, due to this fiasco taking place with Icon of the Seas, Many have brought Carnival into the mix, highlighting the differences between Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise Line, how they handle these situations. If you remember not too long ago, there was a giant mess taking place with the Carnival Vista, where for about a month straight, the ship was suffering some propulsion issues. Allegedly, instead of Carnival Cruise Line letting the passengers know that were set to sail on the Vista of the issues, they waited until the passengers got on board for their cruise to then let them know that there would be cancellations in ports and itinerary changes. It was a big deal and a lot of people weren't happy. Putting that arguably valid controversy aside and focusing our attention once again on Royal Caribbean, in particular the world's newest and second largest cruise ship, Utopia of the Seas, during the middle of September on approximately September 16th, this ship was on a four-day sailing out of Port Canaveral, Florida, when on its second day of the cruise on September 18th, it suffered some power issues involving the fire door, water pumps, elevators, and air conditioning. While the total power outage was short-lived. When the power came back on, unfortunately, the air conditioning and most of the ship did not. Keep in mind, this is the middle of summer, and naturally, this is going to create a pretty uncomfortable environment for the passengers on board. The reasoning as to why these two issues are such a big deal at the moment, the talk of the town, if you will, is pretty obvious. One, Royal Caribbean, on paper at least, is the best cruise line out there. They check most of the boxes, at least on a surface level, especially in terms of quality. On top of that, you have to understand that these cruise ships are not even a year old. They are absolutely brand new. So for them to be dealing with these issues is going to be naturally a little concerning for people that wish to sail on future sailings for these new Royal Caribbean cruise ships. However, let's be real here. Keep in mind that these cruise ships are man-made, meaning whether you're on a brand new cruise ship or you go buy a brand new car at any point in time, there could 
could be some potential issues. Nevertheless, somewhat understandably, many are bringing the topic of greed up when it comes to Royal Caribbean. If you've noticed, when it comes to Icon of the Seas, Utopia of the Seas, all pushed out here in 2024, they came out very quickly. And naturally, people are wondering about the overall quality control. You also have Star of the Seas debuting in 2025. In case you don't know, and if you've never been to a shipyard like I have, if you look at your ships from the 90s, early 2000s, or if you want to go as far back as the Titanic, these ships are not quick builds. Typically, they take, on average, about 18 months to build. Never mind the fact that these ships are mega-sized, such as, again, a Utopia of the Seas and Icon of the Seas. To be fair, this is not only a Royal Caribbean issue, in my personal opinion. We are in what I like to call the microwave era, and where people want things fast, and companies want to push things as quickly as possible, including cruise ship builds. We are in an era of what we call the mega ship game, where all these cruise lines are now now trying to compete and anchor measure with each other. Who can make the biggest, largest cruise ship with all the fixings, all the gimmicks, the tallest drop slide at sea, the three-story go-kart track, you name it. But there's also a push to push out as many cruise ships as quickly as possible. And when that happens, there's the potential for a loss of quality control. While of course, it's not abnormal for cruise lines to announce multiple cruise ships coming down the pipeline, which let's be clear here, it's very exciting stuff. I'm going to be on probably most of them. But you look at Royal Caribbean, they have multiple mega ships coming out, including rumors of a smaller class of cruise ship, the Discovery class, that's going to be unveiled in hopefully the not so distant future. Carnival Cruise Line, I believe they just announced, what, like five cruise ships coming down? Maybe even more, if I remember correctly. Between now and 2035, you have Margaritaville, who I've heard from the grapevine, they have two ships currently in operation. But by 2030, they want six to eight ships within their fleet, so they're aggressively moving. Moving. Disney, MSC is bringing more ships and building more ships specifically for the United States market. You name it. There is a lot going on. And while it's exciting, naturally people are wondering if any of it's going to be a rush job. Moral of the story here, and to wrap all of this up, a cruise ship that is suffering issues, especially chronic issues that happen year after year after year, is a big deal because it's not just an issue with the cruise ship. You have thousands upon thousands of people that are now having their life affected. Most people, if they're lucky, they may get one, sometimes two vacations a year. And when they're booking these cruises a year, two years, sometimes, which is crazy to me, I can never do it on the patients, three years out, naturally they get excited and they don't plan anything other than that vacation that they have with the cruise. And when it gets canceled, well, as you could imagine, it turns into a very disappointing nightmare very quickly. Anyway, that's what we have for this video. I hope I didn't leave any stones unturned, but there is always a million things that we could talk about forever, but I am going to leave it here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. In regards to all of this, of course, hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and know as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Take it easy.